Alright, welcome back to Drawing Blanks. We're here with a Hellblade's newest sacrifice review. Before we get to the like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitch. We have the Let's Destiny 2 it. giveaway. Yeah, about that. Don't forget about that. Should do that? Yeah. yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, cancel that. For now. Um, let's get right into it. The graphics, guys. I love them. He uh, says they're on par with Ah, I took that right. back. I, I retracted Let's, my let... statement after looking back at it. So, alright. I did say that I thought they were on par with Uncharted 4. I was wrong. I told him he was, I was very wrong. Shit. I was very wrong. It's just been a long time since I've played Uncharted 4. But I do think these graphics are, are amazing. Are freaking good. It looks good. great for the for the dark tone. Oh. Let's take in consideration that it's a thirty dollar game. Thirty dollars and great MTV. graphics. Thirty dollar game. Gameplay. Yep. You don't. It's not even a whole. Is this? Would you consider this AAA at this point? It's not. It technically, it can't be because the an indie team. Made That's it. true. You're right. Yeah. It can't be considered. But I would call it it if. If they put this next to another game, I'd be like, yeah, on par with Uncharted. I, yeah, yeah this is AAA like Uncharted. I'd say Ninja Theory uh, hit it good this time. Uh, well, on they hit it good with DMC too. They yes, they did. They uh, did. Yeah, oh man, people hated that. I love, eh. I love the the uh, how everything was like dark. You had like dead bodies everywhere, and the water was actually not bad. Because the water looked good. It's yeah. very hard mm -hmm. to get water right. You know, they the, did have a good job. The beach think. water was pretty cool. How it actually ro yeah, it the looked like it was actually and, running up, and, and, it, and it worked back. It yeah. was, I thought it looked great. So the blood and the gore. Blood. Oh yeah, I just thought it was the great. focus mode. Everything mm -hmm. looked everything. amazing. The soundtrack, the sounds. Oh, you, yeah, it's great. Man, yeah. fucking test. It's it's thrilling. It's just so exciting. It, it gets you scared sometimes. Not not all the time, but it in the um <laughs> no, in the cutscenes. In the cutscenes, it there it's about like half of the game is cutscenes, let's say. No, no, not all. No, I, not no, all. I I think you're thinking of half the game's uh puzzles is what you think. Well, no, <laughs> not half the game. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so like the game is supposed to be uh, used with like your immersive like headset, not exactly the ones that go in your ears, but like immersive. The surround ones. sound headset. And they took the time to make all the sounds 3D, like the one. The yeah, if you watch the extra if, trailer they have in there, yeah. it explains everything. So yeah. we didn't do that, and even without the headphones, the soundtrack was, was fantastic. Yeah. Surround sound on the TV too. Yeah, surround sound on the TV. The, like the whispering voices that are there yeah, constantly behind, throughout behind, the game. Behind you, remember your train. They're absolutely fantastic. They're creepy. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. Speaking of remembering training, uh, shout out to Sal for watching all seven hours of our Thank fucking you. live stream. Yeah, you are seven awesome. hour. We played the whole game one go. That was crazy. It was it was nuts. Yeah, it it was truly uh, six. And Kevin, Kevin for watching like four hours, I think. The music also helped to create the the, the depressing tone. Oh yeah. Oh, the end music was so. Great. Oh man, I can't yeah. stress how good the psychotic. Like breakdown was yeah, so it, throughout it, the whole game. The sword. They like, just nailed the, the, the this, Everything was just would so you, good. Would you guys say it's an emotional game? Like, yeah, like, yeah, I would say it's emotional. It's a very emotional game. Um, maybe not like sad emotional, not, but I would say like you're, for her, like like you kind of feel like holy shit. Yeah, you feel for her. You feel yeah, bad. You, yeah, like shit goes down. Yeah, like, she pretty much loses her mind. I'm surprised she just didn't like end it all. At, the Customization. Beginning. There nope. is. Oh, oh, yes, up in the. No, we don't really have that. Right, I know. I just wanted to go on. There's like no customization in this game because it it's kind of like it, they just you get thrown into it. Like you just Ooh. yeah. I forgot there you about go. that. We forgot about how they don't start you off with any sort of like Training. knowing what to do at all. Oh, yeah. That's like a gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah that's what I was gonna say. Except yeah. you know you get something in your head saying, "Oh, we're I'm gonna be training." We're gonna go to controls. We're gonna yeah. We're gonna kind of go to controls. They don't tell you what they are. Anything. Yeah. Which is not a damn thing. But they're, they're, the it's pretty part. good placement once you figure it out. Yeah. Uh, we're not even going to explain it. You run. Answer, at first, you figure out that, okay, here's the run button. You think, okay, well, that, you know, you should be able to find that on your own when you're first starting. But they legitimately just don't tell you how to do anything. No, which, not how to, yeah. how to hit, how to block. Which, to yeah, which, dodge, yeah. Which was very interesting, I think. Yeah. I think there was a there's a con no there's no control up there. Oh no. wow, look at that. Yeah, no, they just throw you in, and yeah. it's so like confusing, and it kind of just I kind of liked it. Yeah, well, I mean, oh, that was great. I thought it, it, was, it went with the theme. I'd say like the, yeah. the mysterious theme. Like, uh, yeah, oh, keep the control where you don't really like know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, in the know. beginning, just they're fucking with your head. They're like, yeah, yeah, let them figure just, it out themselves, bitches. And then they tell you that like. Moving on to gameplay, because you know there's not much to say about the controls except for the fact that they're pretty good 
and mysterious. You get rot on your hand, and it says that like the further, the more you die, the further it spreads. And once it gets to your head, you die and you lose all your progress. We never got to that point, and I think there might have been. There's a rumor that it actually doesn't do that because some guy died 50 times on purpose, but like. There's a possibility that it's just they're just trying to scare you. Yeah. They're mentally fucking you, like we said. Uh, yeah. To just try your hardest to not Which die. is also interesting. Yeah, it, it does add to that, because even if it's not true... You don't know. You, you never don't, know. You don't know for sure. And, it, and the puzzles in this game are very difficult. So you can get oh, yeah. So, yes. so, like, if you lose all progress from those puzzles, you got to go back through those puzzles. Yeah, because they're it's very a complicated, case. some of them. These aren't, yeah. like, your normal, like... Resident Evil puzzles, your Uncharted puzzles, you're like, oh, where's the triangle rock fit? In the triangle hole? Oh, Look no. through a portal to yeah. see that some things are missing and some things appear you have to out be. of nowhere. Yeah, you have to enter yeah. it through Focus. a certain way, too. You have to be very, very vigilant in this game. You have to notice the small differences. You have to look for certain stuff. It's just the puzzles were well thought out. Half the game, I would say, is uh, puzzles. The other half is combat. They're not always mixed together. There's, like, some points where they are, but not, it's, like, you know, they're spread out very thin. But I thought it was very cool how they did that. Like, all right, well, now that you've fought some shit, figure this out. Yeah. And right when you're done figuring it out, another fight appears. I'm yeah. like, I didn't get sick of it either. I'd say so. that the fighting style in this game is exactly like For Honor's fighting style. The, the controls are basically the same. If you've played it, then you pretty much know how to play this game. It's just if you haven't, then you're going to have a really rough time. No, I really wouldn't even say have a rough time. I mean, I, I picked it up and then I, I mean, just yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. If you, if you, like, pick up on things very easily, it's going to be easy, but just from the beginning, you don't get any information about anything nah, other than that, that thing in your head funny. saying, remember your training. I was waiting for a tutorial to happen yeah. when when a guy showed up, I was like, oh, cool, they're going to teach me how to play, and then he killed me, I was like, oh shit, I guess they're not. Fuck. Hilarious. The combat was just great. It was. It was, just, it, it was so simple, too, but like it was and actually I, really I, fun to play. It's like when you saw an enemy, you got excited, because it's really fun. Yeah. And we think that you can turn the combat difficulty up right here. Oh, I'm going to figure that out right now. I thought I saw that. Combat, yep, you can turn it up. Because it is kind of easy, I won't lie. But they have an auto-detection to see how good you are. If it's, it kind of matches your own difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. I thought auto was just whatever. Yeah, I, that's kind of neat. It's like if you keep dying, they're just going to make it easier on you. <laughs> you don't really die. Okay. Right. That's cool. Uh, we're going to go on to the story. Mm. It's just amazing. You don't really... Don't see what's going on. You don't, you don't know. Yeah. yeah. You kind of have to fill in the blanks. Like, your memory's, like, not there, and you're there. You're, you're like, you're kind of like a voice in her head, seeing from the outside, yeah. seeing yeah. what's going on. I like when she looks at the camera, and she's, like, looking at you. Yeah. It, it, like, as you play more, you kind of get what's going on, and why things are happening, and what's going so, on. And sometimes you just and, go off the rails, and you don't know at all. And it's just, like, once you get to the very end, and you know the, like, the whole story, or most of it, it's just, it really just comes together, and it just, it... It's, it's emotional. Like, it, yeah, it's really emotional. It, it, it really captures you. Yeah, it captures she, you. Yeah. It's fantastic. I just, it was so good. Like they took the time to really like capture, like everything. capture what what like someone with psychosis is yeah. going. Yeah, through. they literally had doctors on like their like. Yeah. Set, First set, thing you set, see set, is like set. the mental health director, their team, leader. Yeah, their team had uh, everybody from psychosis problems to schizophrenia <laughs> to all sorts of just disabilities. It would, they did, yeah. They Going did. back to gameplay. Yeah. yeah. We forgot to mention the, the Wheels of Fortunes. Wheels of Fortunes. The things we focus on. Oh, no, yeah. The... That's to do with the story and the gameplay. It yeah, yeah. Like, it could complete the story. There, yeah, we, we don't know. We, we don't know. There's a wheel, like, right? Yeah, yeah. And every time you focus on one, you it'll light up one of those symbols that are all around it. It's about it, like 600 200 symbols. Yes, yeah. and it'll tell you a piece of the it story. It'll like 200. You can ignore these these things and just go on your way, or you can listen to them and kind of get what's happening in the story. I highly suggest you listen to them. We, unfortunately, missed like only like six, but like still, at the very end of the game, yeah, it seemed like you go bad. through a portal and all the ones you found light up and the ones that don't, don't light up. So we're wondering maybe you get a different ending if you get them all. Maybe it doesn't matter. We don't know. I'm going to buy the game again, for God's sake. Yeah, I'm going to play it. Cause We're actually moving on to replay value. Yes. I, I say, I well, it depends. If you got all the wheel and then you played through it, I don't know how like much you, you want might to play it again. But like, you might want to at least one more time just to yeah. go through that whole fucking sick ass I want to try it with headphones. Headphones, yeah. Like, with the, like, dark. Well, saying like somebody with headphones and got the wheel. Yeah, yeah, like, they, like You still yeah, might want to play it. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. You got that full experience, and you want to have that full experience again, at least one more time. Yeah. I'd say there's at least two two playthroughs good. Third one, if you're really fucking feeling it. 
Maybe get a platinum. Yeah. That too. Um, you guys think this will be the next big series? No. <sighs> I don't know. I. I want them to end it. See, it alone. It's like. They should leave it. It's alone. really good. I feel like. I want another game. I want one. I want. Like, like, I feel. Like I don't know if it has to be a sequel. I don't know if it has to be a prequel. I don't know if it has to be like something else entirely. I don't know what it is. Well, this is something else entirely just, from what it's based off. Of. Yeah. Like, I, I just. It's like I want another game because it, it was so good. But I don't know what they should do or what they shouldn't yeah, do. Also ruin it. I think I don't think they can. Well, I mean, if they take as much time as they did, like yeah. with this one, with the next one, I feel like it'll still be really good. I don't know. If, how you'll make it. I don't know if it'll be like another person who's being like going through psychosis or if it'll just be something different. I don't know. Since we're not giving away spoilers and stuff like the ending, it pretty much leaves you off with a, it's probably not going to make another game. It, it, it just, I don't know. Yeah, I can't I say can't. anything about it, but it, it's just like if you watch it at the end, you're gonna understand. I, I just, I would, I'd like another. I'd like another yes, game. I, I don't know if I like, want another sequel. I don't know what I want. I just know that this game was a lot of fun. We can, we can have Hellblade's a new spawn. She can have a kid. A, a kid. It's a new spawn. Or maybe. That sounds cool. Or maybe a prequel would make sense because then you well, get I to see. I think this is technically like a sequel to another game. Alright, well, it's heavy nah. sword. It's not. It's not. It's like loosely based on. Like they they made that game too. Ninja Theory. It's called. Uh, it's called uh, Heavenly Sword. Hellblade. Alright, well maybe I uh, maybe just like to get like what kind of happened like before like her. she went through this because they kind of explained that like she comes back to her village she, she, and like stuff shit stuff happens. stuff shit. happens and maybe you'll live up like through another person's life there maybe I don't know so that's it reading. Rating? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with the exact same rating as you. It's gonna be a nine for me. It's gonna be honestly. a nine. Ten. I'm giving away my nine. I was thinking a ten, ten. honestly. It's ten for me. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's a ten now. I was thinking about it last night. I was like, why can't I give it a ten? I'm getting. I was like, I'm gonna exactly. give it a nine. No reason to and not. I'm thinking to myself, why doesn't it deserve a ten? I'm like, all right, so maybe it's not long. Well, it's an independent uh, game. Thirty dollars. It was they, only they, thirty dollars. Yeah, it was so a very cheap budget wise. It's very good. Like the order, you can give that a horrible score because it was sixty dollars and very short. But like this one, you can't. I was thinking, I'm. It made, order was really good to me. And I was for sixty dollars. What was it? Guaranteed. I love. I love the puzzles. I love the. Everything. I just, I just can't think of anything I didn't like, so I'm gonna give it a ten as well. Got you. I thought it was. You, you went with a nine. Like I was no, because I was thinking. I was like, all right, I'm thinking of like at the end of a game, I'm thinking. So what's the score I'm gonna well, give I, it? I would give it a nine just because like. Um, it, all right. I, like I, I just thinking at the end of a game, I always think of a rough score. Like, oh, I think it was like an eight, and it'll either change to like a seven or like maybe a high eight, like eight point five, eight point seven. And that's always like where I'm at, but like with this game I was at 9 and I was thinking, why doesn't it deserve a 10? And yeah, I couldn't think of a reason, so I was like, alright, it deserves a 10 then. Well, I, I'm gonna give it a 9, just basically, I'm not gonna spoil anything, so I, I'm, I can't really say anything about why I You didn't like nine. maybe something that something happened in it? Something that happened in it, that I, I observed, that I saw, it, it was iffy, but that's why I, I would score it a Is 9. It like a but it's still a thing? great game, I mean, just... The fact that they mixed the puzzles in with the combat and they made it so well balanced, it was just such a thrilling, fun game just to sit down and play budget-wise. It, it was I great. Just, you can't beat that price. $30 for this game. This game was almost as long as normal games. I've played games that cost me $60 that I thought were way worse than this, mm. that are just terrible I compared to it. I worse than the 10. Yeah. Like, way worse as in, like, for the, for the amount of money they put yeah. in. It was just not worth yeah. it. Yeah. And just compare, I just, that's it. This game, absolutely fantastic, a must-buy. I can't think of a single reason why you wouldn't. I'm going right now, I'm going to buy it right now. That's it. Yeah, I already bought it once, I'm going to buy it again. I already bought it once, I'm buying it again. Anyways, we have a uh, oh, Facebook be... giveaway for Destiny 2. Just like our... <laughs> what did you say? I said he bought it once, he's going to buy it again. You said it like 14 times to this whole thing. I don't give a fuck. I can't stress how good this game is. Enough. Yeah, I, I great. really can't. We have a Destiny 2 giveaway. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Never does it. See you next time.